Let's take a look at some different formidable form styling that you can apply to your forms to make them look nice when they're showing up on your website. So we're using just a you know basic form here. And if we come to the back end of WordPress under formidable, you'll find this section called styles. If you click through to styles, then you'll have some different styles here. In the free version of the plugin, um, there's just one default style. I'll leave a link below where you can get the paid version of the plugin if you want, and that will allow you to have multiple styles. So if you need this form to have one style and then a form on a different page to have a different style, you can do that. But for this one, we're just gonna use the default formidable style. And from here, first thing I wanna do is change the button because it doesn't look that great. So I'm gonna come find I'm going to use inspect elements. So I just right click and then this is in Google Chrome. If you right click and use inspect elements, then it should allow you to find maybe not. Looks like it's inheriting from a different. Let's find some what we could do is click on this, come here, use this thing. Basically just want to grab this orange color here and use that for the button color. So then I'll come back to the styling and I'll click on background color. Paste it in here. I'm actually going to remove the border. And then I'll just make the shadow the same color as the button. So it essentially removes the shadow. And then on hover, let's have it just go to black. That would look nice. So we'll set these to black, set the text to white. And then I'll show you what that looks like here. That's not going to do it here. Um, but if we save this or update it in the top right, you just click update. Then when we come back here, we can refresh this. I right, close out of this for now. And now you'll see we've got the submit button here. It turns to black when we hover over it. And it actually looks quite nice. And typically we want the button to stand out from the rest of you know, the content in the area. And so this orange is a nice bright color that attracts attention and will be hard to miss essentially. Um, now let's say we wanted to make these fields a little bit taller. We can come over here to the field, field settings, make these 52. And that might look a little bit better, just kind of expand these out a little bit. Certainly will look a little bit more modern probably. So now when I put you know my name in here, can see how that looks and then of course you can really edit anything in here everything from the alignment to the title which we're not really using here um, to the descriptions the field labels so oftentimes I'll switch this color over so that it's you know something similar to a branded color like maybe we'll use this color here So that when you have this mandatory field, it's instead of just being red, which is actually kind of off-putting, um, it will be orange. So you can see that that's been updated to orange. It looks nice and branded and in alignment. So it might just be ready to go there. Although I might come to the button here and just... Set this to like 15 and 30, which is just going to make the buttons a little bit bigger. And we can refresh and see what that looks like. Oh, it hasn't finished updating yet. All right, there we go. Now we've got this nice big button here, kind of in alignment with the size of these fields. And uh, I think it's pretty much ready to go. So that's the basics of formidable form styling.
there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore, <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.